Welcome to Reagan and Friends, a podcast series hosted by the Ronald Reagan Presidential Foundation and Institute. Each month, we will share some behind-the-scenes moments and stories of President Reagan with some of his more famous friends. Although Ronald Reagan was known more for his time playing football, he did have a lengthy history with the game of baseball as well. As a radio announcer for WHO Radio in Iowa, he called Chicago Cubs games. As an actor, one of his best-known movie roles was in the 1952 film The Winning Team with Doris Day, where he played real-life baseball star Grover Cleveland Alexander. And, as President of the United States, like most who hold the office, he threw out ceremonial first pitches, congratulated World Series champions, and even hosted a Little League game on the South Lawn. So that's Ronald Reagan and his relationship with baseball. But who is Tommy Lasorda? Tommy Lasorda was the face of the Dodgers, both in Los Angeles and in Brooklyn, for more than eight decades. He managed the Los Angeles Dodgers from 1976 to 1996, was inducted into the Hall of Fame in 1997, and during his career he won 1,599 games, two World Series, and two more National League pennants. He got his pro baseball start at 18 as a southpaw pitcher in 1945 with the Phillies. He left for the military and then returned to the minors. On August 5, 1954, Tommy Lasorda made his major league debut with the Dodgers before being traded to Kansas City. After the 1960 season, he ended his playing career and became a scout for the Dodgers. After managing in the minors and then as a third base coach for the Dodgers, in 1976, Tommy Lasorda became the Dodgers manager and the rest is history. But how did Tommy Lasorda and Ronald Reagan come to know each other? It's all because of Frank Sinatra. The first time I met President Reagan was at Frank Sinatra's home, and he was the governor of our state. And then the next time I saw him, he was going to be running for the president of the United States. And I talked to him, I met him in Chicago, And I said, I think you're going to win big. And he said, if I don't, can you get me a job as a sportscaster? (laughs) The friendship between Ronald Reagan, Nancy Reagan, and Tommy Lasorda was very strong. During the 1980s, if Tommy Lasorda was ever in Washington, D.C., former White House Press Secretary Larry Speaks would bring him to the White House press room for a surprise briefing with the press. When Lasorda arrived at the White House, President Reagan's assistant would let him walk into the Oval Office without a prior announcement which is never done at the White House. Ronald Reagan would light up and quickly walk around his desk to give his friend a big hug. Over the years, Tommy Lasorda gifted President Reagan many items, including multiple jackets, bats, balls, hats, and t-shirts. Some of our favorites include this baseball bat from the 1981 World Series Championship against the Yankees, this royal blue satin jacket which has Dodgers on the front and President Reagan on the back, also from 1981, this Telequest Slugger telephone which is comprised of three baseball bats standing on end topped with the baseball from 1984, a signed World Series Championship baseball signed by the Dodgers from 1988, and this baseball gifted to Ronald Reagan in 2001 which is signed to President Ronald Reagan. You, the Dodgers, and Nancy are all great. God love you. Speaking of the 1988 World Series win, President Reagan welcomed the Los Angeles Dodgers to the White House to congratulate them following their victory. I want you to know that we need to get this ceremony in quickly because Tommy's already volunteered to cook lasagna, and I want to give him enough time in the kitchen. You never want to rush an artist, you know. In my job, You're president of all the people, and you're not supposed to play favorites. But I must confess that after the World Series began, I just knew the winner was going to be a team from California. (laughs) Thank you, Mr. President. First Lady, we are honored on behalf of Peter O'Malley and his sister Terry and the entire Dodge organization. We're very, very honored that you wanted us here to visit with you. And all I can say is that the First Lady threw out the first ball of the World Series, and we won that game in the most dramatic way I've ever seen a ball game in a World Series won. So when you are finished with your job here, we would like for her to come out and throw the first ball out at Dodger Stadium and, of course, bring you along with her.
While taking photographs and talking to the Dodgers that day, President Reagan shared a special moment with second baseman Steve Sachs. Certainly, if they do a story of my life on the screen, I'm too old to play. <laughs> Well, it's a, it's a great pleasure. <laughs> In 2014, Tommy Lasorda came to the Reagan Library to deliver a speech. As you would expect, the speech was funny, poignant, and very inspirational. That evening, he concluded his remarks with, When you go to bed tonight, and you lay your head on the pillow, you thank God for all that he's given you. Sometimes you might feel cheated, denied, or deprived. Just look over your shoulder and see how many people are worse off than you. So you must be thankful for what you have. And if you have any compassion in your heart, you'll say a prayer for Tommy and the Dodgers. Thank you. Don't forget that when you subscribe to our YouTube channel, you'll be notified every time new videos and podcasts are added to our site, including our Reagan and Friends, Words to Live By, and Reagan Forum podcasts. And don't forget to follow at Ronald Reagan on Facebook and Twitter, as well as at Reagan Foundation on Instagram and YouTube.